Hey peeps, I gotta show you part of our roadside attraction. It's the eight foot musty. And you see we've made the skeleton already. Marvelous Mel uh, planned it all out. I hope it works, but anyway. He's eight foot long from the tip of the nose here to the tail. And these are the, the fin structures. And this is where the, the mouth is going to be open. Fins. <laughs> and uh, we hope to put a, a nice paper mache mixture all over it so it can be outside. All right, the next step is to put chicken wire over the basic structure so that we have something to put the paper mache onto. And we'll uh, be doing it as a step-by-step -step process and we'll show you how we're coming along. We finished step two. So here's what we did. We took the uh, a roll of chicken wire, oh, I mean uh, poultry mesh. Anyway, we took the poultry mesh chicken wire and put it all... We found that the easiest way to do it was to drill holes and then uh, pass a wire through the holes, just like sewing and sewing the mesh to the skeleton. And that worked really good. Now that we've got all the chicken wire on, we have to go ahead and flesh out the body by using wadded up newspaper and putting it in the place you want to make the shape and just take the tape, just regular masking tape. Well, we've been working for about five hours putting the basic shell, the first couple coats, onto the, the chicken wire so we have a firm base to work off of. And for the next couple days, we'll just be adding and plumping up spaces and seeing what happens. Hey peeps, we're back. We put about six or eight coats all over it and defined the shape. Looks a lot better now. And it's also dried for three or four days. Nice and hard. So uh, the next step is to put some primer all over it. And that's just what we're going to do. We have our first couple of base coats on now, and I'm going to be putting on some details next. Oops, I made a mistake. Well, the paint job's pretty much done. So we got to figure out how to get this baby out the door and into the yard. And we're going to take her for a little test drive.
according to Marvelous Mel's ciphering, we should be able to just grab a hold of the fish, roll it out just like downtown. Here we go, folks. Four months ago, we started painting this. The giant postcard of Wisconsin. Now you see the size is pretty big, 12 feet by 18 feet. So Marvelous Mel had to draw me up a grid each one of these sections is a full sheet of 4 by 8 plywood. So, started painting it in December, and now it's April, so four months later, it's all ready to put together, if Marvelous Mel's ciphering is correct. Now, here are the top five reasons why you should have your picture taken with this big fish and this giant postcard at C.J. Connor Art Studio. Number five, if you need an alibi, you can prove where you were, but you have to bring your own newspaper. Number four, it's always here if you can't catch a real one. Number three, you have proof that you go to exotic locales on your vacation. You can show your neighbors. Number two, you're closer to the North Pole than you are to the equator. And number one, you can get that pesky Christmas card picture taken care of. www.cjconnor.com <laughs> <laughs>